what's up as promised to do the video on project zeus uh, got zeus behind me it's going let's go over the specs of this bar fish aquarium that i built so everybody can see if you want one you know what to do hit me in my inbox discuss all the specs and the things that you want to see in your tank let's go over the specs let's go around here let's flip this camera around here this morning let's look at the main display here let's go around to the other side got the red rock almost like a a Grand Canyon type rock look like to me uh, Got the black sand. So, 80 gallons. 80 gallons for the main display. 40 gallons for the sump. So it's about a 120 gallon system. Let's see if we can get a better overall look. Uh, Zeus stands about eight feet tall, eight feet tall much taller than me let's see let's see if we can get up all right there we go it's about how tall i'm six feet so i guess two more feet would be about eight eight, eight feet all right so right now we just have the pro light Pro light, if you can see the pro light set up. It's a strip that's programmed with the phone that you can uh, use different colors and settings to operate it to do different functions and pretty cool stuff. It has, uh, let's see if we can get under here. It has different type of uh, lights. We have these blue lights, custom lights, changing colors to a blue to a black light. And they change on and off to a regular Fish aquarium, I guess, what I like to call them, service service lights whenever you doing service to the uh, main display themselves. So, don't use them that much. I will probably use the regular strip lights here. We have the, I guess, display lights, like bar lights, built-in bar lights. You know, you have a little little touch I guess it's this one wrong lights there you go and it's uh, three levels of brightness for the the bar side of the tank and then the same on the front display So right here will be the bar lights. Let's see if we can flip this around. So the back side bar lights within the doors. Of the overall aquarium. It's the boy side, got the nice glasses and the uh, one bottle of uh, alcohol there. And the display setting 
for the whole whole your other bottles of wine and different things like that. Up top, we have the holding for the wine section. The wine section, 24, 24 bottles of wine that can be held at the very top. I only have four right now. Hopefully people can bring more so I won't have to try to afford that many bottles of wine. Have the, the other side with some more cups. Plan on getting some more cups and different bottles of alcohol to go inside. All glass shelving. This is a a glass plate to separate the back to, from the front. Let's go to the front, which is the, I guess you would say the living room side. The living room side has no doors on there, no doors. It's mainly for just shelving different stuff. Oh, no doors. It's different stuff. Good storage holding space at the top, different things, picture frames, whatnot, knickknacks and etc. Alright, let's go over. Take a look at the sump. Turn these lights off. Almost failed. The sump is at the bottom. We have 40 gallons, 40 gallon sump down here at the bottom. That's control. These other doors, I don't have anything in them right now. The extra storage space for different things. I might put a might put an ice box refrigerator down there or something like that. Uh, for different mixers or six packs of Coke. Coca Coca Cola or whatever, different things like that that you want to mix with your drink. But in the middle here, we have um, the sump system, the operating system of the whole aquarium. 40 gallons custom bill. So I don't have the the top on it currently. I was doing some things. I have to put the top on. All right, so we have a, a good understanding on how all of this works here. The first chamber, so it has baffles. So these glass plates, these four glass plates that separate the water from different sections from doing different things, which will be the uh, the intake, the intake tank or uh, holding spot right here where the main display water comes out. It pulls the water out of the main display down to this chamber that fills up this chamber. And the water flows over, the water flows over into here, which is sponges it has to cycle through uh, this sponge to capture different uh, debris, food, any particles or different stuff like that onto the middle chamber where the water is being uh, cleaned uh, biologically, bio biomechanically clean. I probably pronounced a lot of this wrong. Uh, clean in this chamber, in the middle chamber. And then it goes under to here where it has to rise and go through another set of sponges for the return. And this, this section here returns the water back up to the main display, back to the tank as a return, cleans the water maybe 10 to 12 times 
an hour. So let's go and dive in a little bit more into this middle chamber here. All right, so this chamber is operated by one control, this one down here at the bottom. And it runs by itself. It can run by itself without the other two chambers working. It runs independently. I can turn these other two off, which is this chamber and this chamber as when I put it in feeding mode or whatever, and this chamber will still be active. Uh, constantly, constantly cleaning water as this as the main display is in feeding mode. All right, so this right, this this container right here is ran almost like a sponge filter that cl uh, cleans the water. Uh, this this chamber here is for the carbon, and it it. it it is what makes the water crystal clear and it removes different uh, toxins and ammonias and uh, different things like that. There is a back chamber with some biomechanic bio balls and it uh, cleans the, uh, the water biologically. So there's a motor that's in the back and what it does within this within this chamber here, it only uses the water that's within this chamber. It goes up, it comes up into these, it's two, two ports here, it feeds around, goes down, under, and pushes the water through the meter. There's a four, like, uh, how many, about 10 holes, there's a there's a pipe in the very middle of each of these chambers that is uh, extruding water, pushing water outwards uh, at a very fast rate. It forces the water back up to the top as the water is being uh, cleaned, come back out, and passes on through. Uh, with met with uh, several sponges, I will be adding some lava rock, uh, some more media for uh, surface. Uh, bacteria surface can go on it's controlled by also these valves that is the intake from the main display is set and then this valve is the water that's coming out and it's set according to the different settings that I have here as one functioning probably over the top <coughs> uh, main display and some stuff, wires and stuff uh, in the back for as the uh, the uh, the air pumps and different things like that. That's uh, allowing the air to flow through here and allowing the air to flow through the main display. Oh. And that is how that works. 40 gallon sump sump system at the very bottom of Zeus, the whole operating system. Move out of the way. Operating system for this massive, massive aquarium here. So, let's turn this around. Oh, so I don't yet know I have a uh, ideal of what type of fish that I will be uh, putting in the tank. Uh, hey, if any of you have any ideas on what I should carry in the tank, let me know. I'm open to ideas and see what I can put in here. I think I'm gonna do like one type fish, maybe some koi or blackfish. I don't know just yet. Uh, I thought about getting a uh, arowana, a couple of arowanas to put in here. Let's look at the uh, the first tank. Been having this tank for about a year, year and a half. About a year and a half. Um, a simple tank. My one of my one of my uh, not my first tank that I built. I built other tanks for different people. 
uh, one of the, this is the first tank that I built for myself uh, 55 gallons it just ran off a uh, single uh, canister canister filter uh, probably holds maybe a gallon or two gallons of water the main display the main display is 55 gallons so that's probably 60 60 gallons 60 gallons system uh, <coughs> all the fish is doing well it's more of a community tank different different type of fish got some red tail sharks some angel fish uh, a couple of plecos in the back you see some uh, neon tetris I think I don't know the other Tetris, uh, the brown Tetris. I don't know what the name of those are. Some uh, rainbow shark in the back there. Um, I actually recently replumbed this tank to a uh, PVC uh, uh, plumbing. I had um, it was soft soft tubing at first, so I had to move it. Uh, so since I had to move it, I went ahead and replumbed it. A while back everything is ran in the back in here all the plumbing and wiring and whatnot so it's all uh, back here in the back so if I ever had to service it I would have to remove this back plate and service it or whatever hopefully I never will have to it weighs probably <laughs> 500 pounds so uh, to feed it these doors are made to open they are uh, magnetized doors, very strong magnet that just raise up and they allow you to feed them. More wiring for lighting and different things like that. Uh, lighting for them on the side. So a button right here, turns the lights on and off first display i guess you can call this the the little little brother still big spot six feet maybe my height six feet tall six feet tall uh display uh wooden finish mahogany finish all the dvds and Zeus is a, 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 a ebony black. I think that's the name of it. It's a stain, ebony black stain. Nice finish on it. So if any of you uh, have any suggestions of what kind of stocking I should put in here, maybe some other, some greenery maybe. I really don't really want, I like it kind of bare like this. this little rocks and black sand. That was kind of the ideal theme that I had going. Uh, maybe add some, maybe it's some, some leaves or something in there, a little plants or something. Um, but pretty much it's just got to figure out what I want to carry, what kind of fish I want to carry. So let me know in the comments. Um, a lot of these bills that I, I do or have done, um, it's based off of a lot of information that I have um, researched and looked up of many uh, fish keepers on YouTube that I have seen. Uh, one of the main fish keepers that I have looked up uh, several times and pretty much up to date on most of all these videos is uh, Joey, uh, I forgot his last name. I know he's in Canada. Uh, I looked up a lot of his videos and got a lot of information for uh, um, some systems and different things like that on how to build tanks and how to keep tanks and different uh, different things about fish keeping. Uh, I looked at them pretty frequently. Some other ones, uh, what is it, Aqua, Aqua Co Cohop, uh, I think is another informational guy, uh, Boris TV, very informational channel. All y'all go check them out. It's a uh, very good information out there for uh, learning to build tanks or even just keep your tank clean or just keep your tanks uh, up, up to running in good standards. Um, 
hopefully I have some more builds coming pretty soon. I'm always doing a lot of different stuff. So I just wanted to make this video. Hopefully I can get some, some drawing done. I have uh, a couple of tattoos I have to do. So <clears throat> that's my time. Uh, took quite a time to build, probably four months to actually get it fully built. A lot of planning um, on just the system itself of making it run efficient. But like the like the video, subscribe for more update content that I probably will be releasing in the future. Different stuff that I do, drawing, tattoos, uh, computer build design, different things like that. Uh, so yeah, it's my tank, new tank, Zeus finished finally. Hopefully I can put another video to you of what kind of fish I will have in here pretty soon. Thanks.